In the dating world, you're going to meet some people where you know immediately it's not going to happen. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And that's okay. Yeah. It's inevitable. And there's some people where you're like, oh. Maybe. All right. If they change Some. their job and their family and oh. <laughs> maybe their plastic surgeon gets oh to work God. a little bit, then maybe. <laughs> why is it even a maybe? I don't know. Why was I thinking face before you said plastic <laughs> surgeon? <laughs> but then every once in a while, you'll come across that person where something is telling you you cannot let them slip away. Ooh, oh, get them. Wow, that's rare. And that's how one of our listeners felt after she signed up to a very unique dating app. And oh. she believes she found the catch of a lifetime. Wow. Oh, my God. And now she just needs our help reeling them in in your second date update Ooh. next. We've heard of all the usual dating apps on this segment. Yeah. Heard Tinder and Bumble, Mama Hatch Me. Oh, what the heck what? is that? You know where the guys <laughs> in diapers lay on top of the giant eggs uh, until they find their match? Yeah. No. But one of our uh, listeners says they met a guy on an app where the male has to verify his income in order to join it. Oh my god, oh we just talked about gosh. the we talked about the credit score dating app yeah. not long yeah. ago. This is yeah. kind of the same thing. Yeah. I've heard about an app like this. There's a sugar baby app kind of like this. I, I think this is a little bit different than sugar babies. Okay. And I, it is? Okay. I don't want to judge her, even though I'm sure Brooke already has 100%. <laughs> well, but the, sometimes okay. you want what you want. And sure. it's admirable to go after it. So let's talk to her about it a little yeah. bit. Let's welcome Asha to the show. Asha, how you doing? Hey. Asha, hey, Asha. I, can I ask, like, do you also have to verify your salary yeah, to be on the app? Or is it <laughs> no, only, Brooke. is this a one-sided? You never ask a woman how much money she yeah. makes, Brooke. That's a <laughs> very wow. rude question. Why Arsha, would we be on I am, that app? You ask Actually, I, am very I feel like ashamed. if we talked about it more, there wouldn't be such a gap. Ew. But okay, <laughs> That's a good whatever. Point, <laughs> Asha, I apologize for that question. Let me ask you, why, why did, like, signing up for an app like that, why does it appeal to you? Well, I was in a long-distance relationship for 10 years, and I was Oof. the main breadwinner. Yeah, so I was paying for all of the things, like flights, vacations, yeah. everything, oh, wow. and it didn't work out. So now, you know, I'm just reflecting, and I'm like, I want to take a step back and enjoy my life, and I, honestly, I want to be pampered, you know, oh, by yeah. somebody that has some means, oh. and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay. Not at all. I mean, I'm glad we heard from you, because, you know, assuming always, it's like, oh, you just probably want a guy to pay for everything, but you got it both. You deserve the other end. Yeah. I'm rude for oh, you. You are deserve very a... passionate I mean, about this, Jose. I mean, it sounds like Jose. any guy on this app is okay with it. They're yeah, they know what yeah, they're doing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Jose sounds like he has an account yeah. on this app yeah. already. I have so. been on these apps. <laughs> <laughs> now, so, I, look, I don't necessarily feel this way, Asha, but I do feel like maybe some people listening might think that you're not in it to find real love yeah, and or like what... a true connection. You're just in it for the easy comfort. What would you say to people that tell you that? I mean, I've had that perspective i've been on the other side but now you know i'm a little older i know my worth and i feel like i deserve better okay okay hey. nice. so what's your range here like do you put in like when you sign up for an app like this you're putting yeah. in numbers of what you're looking for instead of height restrictions <laughs> yeah. <and> like looks? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, basically, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to say the exact figure to you, but you could guess. Okay. People always generally say know six a figures. <laughs> we're just going to assume it's in the eight figures and call it safe. Eight? Oh, that's tens we're of just, millions. Okay, that would work for me. We're lowballing it. So tell us about this guy that you met wow. on the app, though, because in your email, you said his name is Clip. Clip. Yeah, it's Clip. It's, yeah, it's short for Clipton. Clipton. Oh, I thought it was Clippy from Clip. Microsoft Words, oh, and no wonder he's a billionaire. It's no, it says cl it says in the email Clip with a P. Okay. Clipton okay. does sound like a, a rich guy's name, though. Yeah. Oh, I will say. Clipton. I'm curious, how did the initial <laughs> conversation start? Like, I'm assuming Clipton is the one who reached out to you first. He did, yeah. He asked me about my favorite place in the world to watch a sunset, I think, because in my bio I put... I have an unhealthy obsession with chasing sunsets. Oh, <laughs> I love oh, that. God. That enough. is. <laughs> wow, what? that is sweet. That is. That is sweet. Is... Oof. Like, I've never okay, been, I, anytime I go What's to wrong line, with sunsets? It just sounds like a line chat GPT gives you to put on like, oh, basic files. <laughs> How did you answer? What did you say? Oh, so he asked me and I said Santorini. Oh. oh, in Greece? Wow. Yeah, I'm obsessed with Greece and the Greek islands. I okay. Wanted to go. Wait, I don't think he liked my answer. Why? He did? <laughs> Why not? Um, I've never been. I've just seen pictures. You know, it looks really beautiful. Um, oh. Well... <laughs> You can't, you can't answer, like, my favorite place to watch sunsets is a place I've never, <laughs> never been before. Been. Yeah, because that's how you get taken there. <laughs> yeah. I have dreams. I have big dreams. I want to see the world. Wait, what did he say back? Why do you think he didn't like it? 
Maybe he thought like I wasn't on his level. Like okay. what? Like oh, you haven't been to Santorini? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Brooke, you would like nail it on this app, clearly. <laughs> so can I ask? Like we need to move forward. Have you met up with the guy yet? So we haven't met yet. Um, we were just chatting online. Oh. We did exchange numbers. He asked me about if I'd feel okay about long distance. Oh, again? You just did that for what? a decade. Yeah. I know. Exactly. So I was like, uh, I got to be 100% honest with you. Like, I don't want to waste your time, but I'm really looking for someone to spoil me. Like, I'm just being oh. out front about what I want. Okay. Okay. Well, well that's the right place well, to say that. I, I mean, yeah, that's bull. True. You're putting it all on the table right there. Yeah. So, But then he didn't respond after that. Oh. oh. So I need your help. This is weird because if he's on an app that's yeah. kind of like this, that shouldn't deter him. He'd be no. like, yeah, yeah, most people are. I mean, he's obviously like considering that you might be a possibility if he's asking, are you up for a long distance yeah, relationship? True. So, huh. I, I mean, I, I guess I assume he's not in your same city. He's not, but I don't think that would really matter. And based on his profile, he travels a lot. So okay. I don't think the dates would be all like set in one spot anyway. Can I ask when we call him, have you talked to him on the phone before? Um, we haven't talked yet. We just exchanged numbers. Oh. But I'm really, I'm really trying to find like a generous guy who can give me like a fun lifestyle. But okay. I'm, I need someone who's not a creep. He okay. seems like a good dude, though. Okay, Alexis, okay. we get it. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, I don't think he's not a creep. I just texted him. But, you know. I feel like we're like shopping for a used car. Like it depends yeah. on the looks and the price range. You know. All I know is Brooke, we're you just bought a brand out. new car. Well, I know, but oh. this one feels like it's more of a used situation. Well, all right. Well, let's reach out to this used Honda and see yeah. if he's willing to give it a test drive with you in person. Whoa. That sounds great. I really just want to get a real date on the books with him and see what he's all about. Okay. okay. We'll try and set that up for you. Uh, we'll call him and get your second date update right after this. <laughs> it's funny. We don't usually do a lot of second date updates where there was no actual date that happened. Oh, yeah. yeah I know. Strangely, no one protested in studio like they normally would if that was the case. Because too focused on the rich oh, no. guy. I kept yeah. the judgment in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty interesting conversation between two people on an exclusive app for income verified individuals. Yeah. And well it. said. That's a good way to say no. sugar daddy. From yeah. well, no, that it's a different it than that. It is income verified. Is yes. it different than that? Though? It's not. For this case and purposes, it's classy. <laughs> All right. From what I understood, Jeff. our listener Asha had a flirty exchange with a man named Clip, short for Clipton. <laughs> They discussed their favorite sunsets, and she told him hers was Santorini, even though she's never actually been there. Yeah. yeah. The screensaver on her window's yeah. background, though, gorgeous. Yeah. Uh-huh. But it seems like the final straw for the guy, Clip, was when he asked her about doing, like, a potential long-distance relationship, and she responded, I'm going to be completely honest, I need a man to pamper me like no other. And yeah. that's kind of where things started to fall Which off. wasn't really a yes or a no. Yeah, I know. Well, we've learned that she's not really very good at answering questions directly. She True. kind of, you know, uh-huh. skirts around the outside. Yeah, that's but a good we, point. We that's all do point. know that she doesn't really want a long distance because she yeah. did long distance but, before. Right. But he travels a lot, so she, you know, Asha. She's going like, to have to. You're hoping that he just flies you to wherever yeah, he is, fly right? Yeah, to him. <laughs> Yeah, totally. I mean, I got on the app because I was looking for somebody that had the means to travel. So okay. I don't think it's weird, weird that I brought it up. I don't think it's weird. I want to go see the sunset in Greece. Oh, not yeah. at all, though. We all do. Let's call <laughs> Clifton, though. Ashley, you ready to do this? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's oh. reel this fish in for you. Here we go. <laughs> Hello? Uh, hi, we're looking for Clip or Clipton. Clippy? <laughs> That's what I was calling. Uh-huh. Just Clip. This, this Clipton, who's this? Hello. Oh, hey. Hi. Uh, hi, we're a, we're a radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Okay. Uh, God, great cell line. I'm just saying, his phone line even sounds rich. Okay, put um, <laughs> Brooke's microphone off for a second, please. Yeah. Uh, so, Clip, we do this segment called A Second Date Update on our show. And I don't know if it airs uh, in the city that you're at. We're a nationally syndicated show, by or the way. The country, bro. I don't know. You don't yeah, you can jet. look us up online, Brooke and Jeffrey. We're verified online. <laughs> <laughs> Worldwide verified. Okay, anybody can so buy thirsty. Yeah, you really Why do, do I oh feel like God. I need to like verify myself? Just anybody to the can rich buy a blue check mark now. <laughs> yes. This is embarrassing. He answered his own phone. Hi, too, by the way, not a lot of rich guys answer their own phones. <laughs> He's probably sorry. so. Are you still Clipper, there? Sorry, are you still there? How can I help you guys? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. So Time is money, Jeff. You're right. We're, we're doing this segment trying to help out one of our listeners. 
it's like a dating segment. Normally, we would call people who have been on a date with this person before, but this is a little different because you've just exchanged numbers with this woman, and according to her, had a really nice conversation online. Do you remember Asha? Uh, yeah. Oh, you oh. do? Okay. okay. I, I was curious if we'd even remember who she was. That's good. We're just trying to help her get some answers because she's a little confused now that the conversation has kind of died down. It's not moving forward. Yeah, she was really excited about you. Yeah, and she mentioned and that potential. Yeah. you two were talking and thought maybe she turned you off by saying that she's looking for a guy to pamper her. That was the last thing that she says came up. <laughs> I don't I don't mind doing that for someone I'm in love with, but, you know, that. Definitely wasn't my issue with Asha. I'm sorry. It was your issue that she asked that or was not your issue? It wasn't my issue. Okay. okay. Was you're not. okay with pampering her. Well, I mean, if you're going to be on a, a rich guy yeah. app, you yeah. probably are going to expect <laughs> that is the expectation. It'd be really funny, though. You put it in. You're like, I'm a millionaire. And some girl's like, ooh, you're rich. She's like, excuse me. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you get in my business? Well, so what was the issue with Asha then? Like, I thought we had a real, real potential until her last message came through. And then I realized she's into some things what? that I'm not necessarily into. Like what? Oh, wait, what? Like Santorini? <laughs> yeah, yeah the, I'm into Mykonos. The sunset on Santorini mm-hmm. came up. Is that what you're talking about? No. Just, listen, I'll, I'll open it up and, and read to you her message. It was pretty shocking. Oh, oh okay. Whoa. Give me a she, yeah, sorry. Okay. Where is it? Uh, okay. She said, I'm going to be... 100% honest and truthful with you on what I want so we don't waste our time. I'm looking for someone to soil me. So right there, what? I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. wait a minute. Don't wait, hold think, on. Don't you think no. she just left the P <laughs> yeah. out of that word? <laughs> it means soil. something soil so you? much different. <laughs> I think she meant spoil. She you said... Oh, you didn't and know. there's some people that are into that kind of stuff, and oh. that's just not for me. Like some people are into kinks and everything, and yeah, that's but... just really not me. Okay. okay I mean, uh, well, if you're not into fun, that's okay. But oh you have to choose. So you assume I... that versus the other well, one? Well, well, this is a specialty site. A lot of these specialty sites have really weird people on them that have weird interests. I can see him really thinking what? that. Maybe, maybe she did mean it. <laughs> but wh- why are we even explaining this to him when we can just have Asha oh. explain it herself? She is on the other line right. Right now, wanting to talk to you, Clip. Are you, are you plant soil? Are you clean or soiled right now? Asha? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, she's laughing. Well, I'm like so embarrassed and ill, but <laughs> come on. I mean, obviously it was a typo, and then spoil me. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Say hi. Okay. Say hi. Yeah, Clip. Asha. There she is. That was her. Hey. Yeah, I can't believe <laughs> I wrote that. Um, I was babysitting at the time, so I guess my hands were full. Babysitter. Oh, you're a babysitter. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. You told me you were a cosmetics director. Cosmetics, cosmetics director. director. You could do both. Well, I do I mean... the, yeah, I do the makeup for my nieces for their elementary school plays. Oh. oh, I thought you were like. Wait, well, how like, did you have so much what? money in your last relationship? I thought you were yeah. a third member of Mac. Well, like, you're dealing with toddlers and little kids the whole time, so maybe you are kind of into soiling in a certain way. <laughs> No, again, I meant to say spoil with a P. I don't think okay. I'm the first person to make a typo, well, guys. Wait, Come can, on. can we please concentrate on the fact, Asha, that you said you said makeup director and you're just helping out with the elementary school play? <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. It is a job. That I'm good at it. Do you get paid for it? Some of my parents donate to me and they give me baked goods after the place. Oh, okay. oh. Hey, uh, it's actually more than we make here at the radio yeah. station. You know, so Brooke has been begging for a salary in cake and pie. Yeah. They don't <laughs> that. You see, like, that's my issue with these sites. Like, I'm trying to meet a high value woman. Oh, so everyone should be making. Well, okay. yeah, you're I, on the wrong site. site. Got it. It's not that they need to be making a ton of money, but, you know, just don't be dishonest about what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see it, that. It too. does feel dishonest, Asha. Our cosmetics director could be anything. Uh, okay, I mean, really that's stick but to the it. one app you shouldn't have to lie on is a sugar yeah. daddy app. <laughs> like, yeah. keep the lies for Tinder. I mean, that's like people that are like, I'm an entrepreneur and I travel <laughs> yeah. for work. But you work it's for like, DoorDash. you guys, it's like I volunteer as an assistant coach for Little League. I'm not going to put baseball coach as oh, my job. Oh, head athletic director? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> Like and That's actually more respected than this job that we do. So. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe you should put yeah, that down. Yeah. But, Clip, 
I think Asha brings a lot of value that's not necessarily through her job title or mm. through any money. Like, her value is in her personality and what she could offer to you as, like, a potential good relationship. Yeah, and it's a good sign that she, you know, helps kids. and Yeah, and I look good in a bikini. You said that, Clifton. Hey, oh. That gets okay. me So clearly time. you're seeing a little bit of value at least. No, I feel like we're really back on these sugar daddy yeah. sites. At this, <laughs> that's where well, we just went back By the to. way, we, we should try and bring these two together oh. in person. Yeah. You guys haven't even met up yet, and I know we can't offer, like, a plane ticket for you guys to fly out and meet each other. Especially not private. But we can offer a gift card to a restaurant in <laughs> one of your cities if you do get together. I mean, I did have a good conversation with her, and, you know, was... like she said, she does look good in a bikini, and I, we did get along except for the whole thing. And you know, you know that she doesn't, she does not want you to soil her. It's like, yeah. We're being very clear. I, I think I understand that now. Um... Yeah, I mean, why not? I'd be down for it. Why not? Oh, my God. You bring up one bikini picture, and suddenly <laughs> men have yeah. no strength anymore. Asha, you're a smart woman. Well done. Oh you just got God. yourself a second date. Hey. Oh, work it, girl. I did it. All right. <laughs> Are you applauding yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah I am. I deserve it. Round of applause for the bikini pic. You do it, too. All right. Brooke, come on, clap. Crazy. Bro, all right. Here. I did it. There you go. Yeah, bikini photo. Love a good bikini picture. We'll see you in Santorini. Oh, my God. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.